step five. So we know that mind, body, spirit are connected and, and everybody's familiar with that term. I don't know really, I don't really, really know if people realise, sorry, just how um, much the body does influence the mind. So you know when you're kind of doing a massage, if you massage the back of someone's leg, you're going to get more of a relaxation response than massaging someone's back. Why? Because when people go into fight and flight, those muscles, they're activated, they're ready to run. Try it. If you do massage, really go to town on, on someone's calves and someone on the back of the legs and take the tension out of there and you will find it has an effect on the mind. Having said that, people carry tension in all parts of the body. In the, usually the weak part of the body, that's where the tension will go. But there are certain things and certain kind of techniques that we can use, some acupressure techniques to relieve that tension um, and, and regain that equilibrium. So in, in step five, we introduce you to some um, body work, um, maybe massage, maybe Indian head, um, a few, two or three different modalities, therapies that we introduce you to, uh, that hopefully you'll go on and you know develop a full diploma. And it may be that you're already qualified in some of these in these things, which is fantastic, brilliant. Add those into step five, and then we introduce you to things like hydration, essential fatty acids, some common herbs, passiflora, vena sativa. Um, stress, stress relief, or some beautiful, beautiful herbs, some adaptogens that help the body adapt to the environment, uh, and some of the emphasis on why water and hydration and why essential fats. So we, we introduce you to body work and then some uh, information on food intolerances, nutrition herbs. Again, it's this synergistic approach to stress that we're um, attempting to achieve. And again, it may be that you're qualified and you've got some knowledge you know, in these areas, so build it into your steps. What's the most important part of that is the steps. Why? Because you're identifying a stress. You're going to settle the system down. You're going to give the body, create the body and mind some movement by setting the intention. You're going to remove those blocks to that intention. And then you're going to support the body with... Um, as I say, these different herbs and body work and all this um, bring about change and certainly helps that process. So that's step five.